Beowulf, the Epic Hero by Tony Galindo. This was the longest poem written in Old English. Beowulf is the longest poem in Old English about an epic hero that lived by bravery and dedication to keep those around him safe. In the book, on page 374, the reading was translated by Gumari, and he wrote as a prologue the heroic cast of the story of the Danish king Beowulf, with its dangerous deeds, its ethical prescription, and its legendary monsters, makes it both an engaging wand, a didactic one. Old English The Old English language is very different from modern English language of the Anglo-Saxon, a highly inflicted language with a largely Germanic vocabulary. History of Beowulf The literature of Beowulf has an unknown author. It was composed as early as C-700. It evolved through many retellings before it was officially written down. Earliest known owner of manuscript is scholar Lawrence Noel from the 16th century. Composed as an allegory for a king who died in the 7th century. Little evidence shows who that king may have been. Historical elements runs through the poem, yet both the hero and the story are fiction. More history on Beowulf. Beowulf contains almost 4,000 lines. It takes place in the 6th century, Denmark and Sweden. The Geats, Beowulf's tribe, inhabited the southern part of Sweden. The poem consists of Germanic history, even if Beowulf is real or not. Beowulf was conceived after 580 AD and no later than 1000 AD. Beowulf may have been a fiction in the poem, but some characters were real. Hoggar and his glorious Mead Hera were from the Danish island Sahilad. Scholars believe Beowulf was conceived in the 16th in the 600s or 700s. Poem makes allusions of historical figures. The settings were Sweden, Denmark, Germany, Poland, and Low Countries. Author of Beowulf is a mystery, as most poets of the Anglo-Saxon period are. Beowulf may have been means to define East Anglican history all the way back to Scandinavia. Beowulf's first battle was with Grendel. His men from his tribe approached him and all their weapons were destroyed. Beowulf, Beowulf tears Grendel's arm from the body at the shoulder. Grendel runs to his home in the marshes to die alone. The next slide, it is the actual whole poem of Beowulf in five minutes.
and here's my work cited. Thank you guys for your time.